Welcome back everyone. Today we're diving straight into awards to show you an exciting project I'll be tackling. Just a few days ago, while exploring the site of the day collection, I stumbled upon alphatango.com. This will be our inspiration for today. We're going to craft a stunning scroll animation coupled with a navbar logo reveal. Our aim is to animate these letters on scroll while simultaneously unveiling the logo amidst the regular website content to bring this immersive landing page experience to life. We'll be employing HTML, CSS, and JavaScript augmented with the power of Greensoft. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin by creating a container for our navigation. Inside the navigation, we'll add a logo using an anchor element, along with a logo revealer which will serve to mask our logo momentarily. Following that, we'll insert a header where we'll place our letters. While SVGs can be an option, I'm choosing to use regular PNGs for these letters. Make sure to wrap each image inside a class named letter. Next, we'll introduce our standard website content within a wrapper to control its width. For the time being, I'll incorporate a placeholder content, featuring a heading, an image, and a few paragraphs. I'll replace this later with the actual content. And there we have it. Let's transition to the CSS segment. Let's kick things off by targeting all elements to reset their margins and padding. And we'll set the box sizing to border box. For the body, we'll ensure it spans the full width and height of the viewport, and introduce a minimum height to ensure scrollability even with minimal content. A dark background color will contrast nicely with our white letter images. Just in case you're using text instead of images, set a default font family. Next, let's apply generic styles for images, setting both width and height to 100%. The object fit property set to cover ensures images completely fill their containers. Our header comes next. It should be fixed to the top with a position fixed property. Add some margin and padding. Stretch it across the full width and use display flex to line up the letters horizontally. If you're using text, set an appropriate color and ensure it's stacked above other elements with a Z index. For the pseudo element that will conceal the letter upon scrolling, set its position to absolute, its size to 100%, and position it completely below its parent using top 100%. The body background color serves as its backdrop. Each individual letter should occupy an equal portion of the width, so we'll set its flex property to 1. If you're using text, center it with text align center. Additionally, the header's letter image should be displayed as a block. Now, onto our navigation bar. It'll be fixed to the top, span the full width, and the logo will be centered using Flexbox. The logo's anchor text should be styled with position relative to prepare it for animation. Introduce your desired font styles thereafter. The logo revealer, serving as an overlay, will be positioned absolutely at the top, covering the full width and height. Set its transform origin to the bottom so we can animate it using GSAP with a scale Y effect. Similarly, style its pseudo element, just with a different top value. Lastly, let's fashion the main content. The wrapper should have a specified width and centered margins for horizontal alignment. Throw in some standard styles for the H1 and paragraph elements. One crucial point, the header's pseudo element should be positioned above the letters by setting its top to minus 100%. And with that, we're set. Let's jump into the exciting part, JavaScript. Starting off, we grab the essential elements from our page, the header, the individual letters, the logo, and our primary website content. These references will be crucial in the subsequent animation steps. Before diving deep, we set some groundwork. 
We'll keep track of our last scroll position and define a section height of 150 pixels. This value represents the scroll distance required to trigger each animation phase. By listening to the scroll event, we're keeping tabs on user interactions. Inside this event, magic happens. As users scroll, we want to give priority to our letter and logo animations. The website content should remain static at the top unless users have scrolled approximately 900 pixels. Since there are 5 letter pairs we'll animate with 150 pixels increments each, plus another 150 for the logo. So, after covering this and having some extra breathing room, we will look for 900 pixel distance to allow the content to be scrolled. Our order pairs array is a carefully crafted sequence, deciding which pairs of letters animate together. As users scroll, each pair animates in the order specified, offering a cascading effect. The move factor determines how much each letter should move based on the scroll position, ensuring they don't overextend. Then, we compute the translate Y to determine the vertical movement needed for the letters. Using Grensock, we fluidly animate the letters, determining their position based on our scroll depth. With our letters setting the stage, the logo is the showstopper. As users venture beyond the letters, the logo makes its appearance, rising from the top. If they decide to venture back up, the logo takes a step back, with the logo revealer concealing it once again. We ensure smooth animations without glitches by checking if the logo isn't already mid-animation. If the user has scrolled past all our letter animations, plus our buffer, and the logo isn't currently animating, then we kickstart the logo's animation. Using the GSAP animation, the logo smoothly slides into its resting position, while the logo revealer shrinks down, revealing the logo in all its glory. Lastly, keeping in touch with the user's journey, we consistently update the last scroll value. This ensures we're always in sync with the user's position on the page. In essence, with this script, we're choreographing a slick scroll animation between our website elements, guiding the user through an engaging narrative as they scroll.